what is Oracle's repricing policy? And is it important for you? Well, everybody hates, this is probably Oracle's number one policy that everybody hates, uh, and it's their reprice. Well, not everybody hates it. Oracle loves this policy because it really locks you in. Uh, basically, what it says is uh, when you have an order for stuff, you buy some database licenses, and let's say you buy 100 licenses. Well, if you ever want to reduce your support costs, you say, you know what? I don't use 100 licenses anymore. I only use 80 licenses. So I want to reduce my uh, number of licenses from 180 and surely I will save 20% on my support costs. And you try to do that and Oracle says, no, 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 uh, that is not allowed. Um, we are going to reprice. We basically gave you that initial deal uh, based on a volume discount. So if you're not going to use 100 anymore and you only want to use 80, that's great. Go for it. But we're going to reprice your support costs. And guess what? you're going to pay just what you were paying last year. Um, and actually, recently, Oracle made another change saying, you're going to pay what you paid last year plus an inflationary index increase. And, you know, given the high levels of inflation these days, um, that can be quite traumatic for folks who are actually using less Oracle and end up paying more. But again, not traumatic if you are Oracle. So if you are paying too much for Oracle support and you're looking for all of your options on how to reduce it and you want to talk to someone independent of Oracle, please reach out to us at Palisade Compliance and we will walk you through our proprietary, unique Oracle support cost reduction plan uh, and to see and identify all those places where you can actually save some money on Oracle.